Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. And my very first wax empties video, this is my December empties. And one thing, some things to know about my wax stuff is that I only have one melter. Um, yeah, I have one melter and it pretty much does my whole apartment. Except not quite the bedroom and not quite the bathroom, but everywhere else pretty much. Um, I I just melted in my kitchen because Heidi doesn't go on our counters, so it's safe from the cat. Because <laughs> I do use a tea light, so there is a flame, and obviously hot melted wax, which... When I had candles, Heidi one time touched the flame with her paw, and then from then on, she had a vendetta and always wanted to, like, pat the flames, like, to kill them. <laughs> so, you can't trust my cat around candles. Anyway... So I don't have like a huge amount of empties for a whole month, but I'm kind of getting tired of what I have in here and I want to switch it up for January and I got like a pile of good stuff. So we're going to go through the empties and then we will get through what I'm going to put in my basket and what I'm going to carry on across from here, etc. Or what I'll just put away for the rest of the year until next year because I think you, you can just do that. So let's get into our empties. I have a bunch of shot cups from Fantasy Wax, and yes, if you haven't noticed, and you'll probably notice through my hauls this month in January that I thought it was shop cups with a P, shop. <laughs> and I swear that's what it was, and then I saw it written down as shot cups, and I was like, what the heck? And anyway, they're more like sauce cups, right? Like for ranch and ketchup and stuff. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> basically I really love the Fantasy Wax um, shot cups because I just cut them in half and one half will work for one or two days, which is awesome. So I have a bunch here. Um, all right, we'll just start here. So first of all, we have Sandy Claws, which is pumpkin gingerbread. And I this was probably my least favorite of these groups. Like, oh. Like, it smells really nice. Like, I think the pumpkin really dials back the ginger of the bread. Like, the spiciness of the bread. and makes it a bit more creamy, a bit more sweet, a bit more earthy with the pumpkin. But it just didn't really work on warm for me. Like, at first it did. But it kind of, like, I don't know. I didn't love this one as much as the other, some of the other gingerbread stuff that I had. So... Yeah, it was just okay, but I probably wouldn't buy this one again, but it is really nice and warm. If you want more of that sort of earthy, sweet roundness um, from the gingerbread, then you might like this one a bit more, but wasn't my favorite, but performed really well. Should just say blanket statement, fantasy wax, super strong, great throw, went everywhere, lasted ages, got two days out of most halves. Loved it. So, still love Fantasy Wax a lot. <laughs> and we'll come in with that with Orange is the New Bread, Spiced Orange, and Zucchini Bread. I regret not getting another one because this was delicious. So good. Oh, oh my god. It's almost, yeah, it's like a gingerbread but with orange and I freaking love that. Like, um, you still get the heart orange hit, but it's very much mellowed out with the spices and the zucchini bread. And it was just so tasty and they're sold out and I don't have another one. Like I didn't buy one during Black Friday, like a dum dum. I don't think I had melted it around Black Friday, so, uh, but so good. I think I kept each half on for two days because it was so delicious. But if you have oranges, the new bread, definitely give it a try. It was so good. Definitely, like, probably one of my favorites of the month. Then we have Zapple Pie, which is Mac Apple, Zucchini Bread, and Pie Crust. I don't remember this one as much. Yeah, on, on cold, it's literally just apple, and I think it was kind of the same melting. Like, it spent most of the hours of its life just apple, fresh apple, and then I think it mellows out at the end with the zucchini bread and pie crust. Um, yeah, and then the apple is just like over, still like destroyed the zucchini bread, but I still enjoyed it, but yeah, it was good. 
still good. But Mac Apple also almost leans soapy for me, I think. I mean, I love apple scents, but this specific one is a little soapy. Then we have Gingerbread Girly, which is gingerbread, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. This one was really good. Like, there was one part of it, like, all of a sudden, like, I walked into the kitchen, like, you could smell it everywhere, but I walked in the kitchen and it looked, it smelled literally like we had gingerbread cookies in the oven. I was like, gingerbread. Um, so that was really good, and I like how the other two scents, like, make it a bit more rich, a bit more smooth. Uh, that was a really good gingerbread one. So I much prefer Gingerbread Girly over Sandy Claws, for sure. Um, but I think that was all the shop shot cups. Um, but I do have another, yes, I have um, this one I got from an Andrea D stash and it was a bit older, so I decided to melt this and it was Amish Spice Loaf. So when did she get it? This is, what is the seventh month, July? <laughs> So yeah, this is Amish um, Spice Loaf, and I, as you can see, I used up the whole snap bar. So for these, I only need to use one um, for a whole day, so it's really good. Really enjoyed this. Um, it was like spicy in a completely different way than like gingerbread or pumpkin spice. It was a really tasty spice, and I really enjoyed this. So if she brought Amish um, Spice Loaf back next year, I would totally get one because... That was really, really nice. I liked that one. And it was also very bready. Um, and then I also melted two of her samples, freebies. These are just one snap thing. Um, and that works for me because they uh, they last a whole day. So we had blueberry cobbler and I was like, oh wow, I actually really... This was a really tasty blueberry scent. I really enjoyed this one, and I think it's become a core scent, right? Blueberry cobbler. So I might pick up a shop, shot cup of that later. So I did enjoy that one. And now we have to talk about honey spiced pear, which I'm so sad about. And I think it might be, I talked to Andrea about it, and she thinks it might be, it needs to cure longer because I have a whole souffle of it as well um, for fantasy wax, but. So I was like, I have a whole souffle, but I had this freebie, so I'm going to melt this one first instead. And on cold, it perfectly smells like honey spiced pear. It smells so good. But on warm, it was, it was extremely strong, a great throw, but it just smelled like soap. Honestly, there's kind of a pairiness to it, but it really sm strongly smelled like soap. And Locke came out of their office and was like, did you just have a shower? Because <laughs> it's kind of that smell, like the clean post shower soap smell. And it almost, it was kind of giving me a headache, to be honest. So I took that one off and I'm so sad because I love this on cold. So I, yeah, Andre just told me maybe just wait to melt the souffle and see if curing it will help. So either we'll try it out like at the end of winter or maybe I'll just even leave it to next autumn because uh, it was so good and cold, but I don't know why this one warmed, like it was a headache inducing soap. And I'm so sad because pear is lovely. But that was that. I think that was all of my fantasy wax. So, yeah. So another one I used up entirely was this L3 Waxy Wonders Sleigh Bells Ring. Plum tart, wild berry mousse, and sugared corn pudding. This was from Andrea, but she doesn't have a sticker on it, so I don't know when she got it. But I thought I would melt this because it was like sleigh bells ring, like it's a Christmas scent, I guess. And it was older, so I was like, you know, time to melt it. And I cut it into four, so it came in a, a single bunt like this. Cut it into four and just used one of, I think actually I got almost two days out of each fourth. And it was so good. I really liked this one. Um, it starts off like super strong, great throw. I haven't had too many problems with throw, to be honest, until the very end of a wax's life. Um, but yeah, it, it starts off super fruity. Um, oh, it's just like a really, it's a really sweet fruit. Like really like 
proper berry without any floral, which is really nice. I think that might be the ad the addition of the plum tart. Sweet, sweet fruits, and then it mellows out over time to the sugared the sugared pork corn pudding. And I've never had like a corn flavor, and the only things I've never like had corn pudding or really. One time I've had cornbread, I think, but it's not really a big thing in Australia. You kind of just eat fresh corn, to be honest. And um, it actually smelled really nice. I really liked the little touch of corn at the end. It was really weird. It's nothing I'd smelt before, and I just really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, I really liked Sleigh Bell's ring. That was very good. Uh, and then this one from Bewitching Wax, and I'm actually... No, this is a different one. So this is Meet Me at the Lamp, post from her Narnia series. Had to melt some of these while I what, while I what, the, while I read Narnia. <laughs> we have delicious winter brunch of poached peaches and pears and maple spice chai. Really enjoyed this. I think this definitely had more of that pear and peach. I think it was mostly pear came out on warm, uh, but it did smell kind of like almost smells like it also had kind of a pie feeling to it as well um, and it was really nice really creamy definitely had that hint of the pear and the poachiness um, but there was also this kind of like as it ended its melt it got almost nutty and I don't know if that was because it was going into the coconut wax or anything I haven't I had didn't smell any coconut to be honest um, because I've never burnt, I've never melted or burned coconut wax, so this was new for me. Didn't get any coconut, so if you're worried about that, don't be. <laughs> and these are also a really great throw as well. Um, I actually only need one snap bar of this too. And yeah, I don't know. It just got nutty at the end, which is weird because there's no like nuts mentioned, um, unless it's kind of hidden in the maple in the maple spice jar. I don't know, but. That was really tasty and wintry. Yes, and this is the one from Bewitching Wax that I'm actually finishing right now in my warmer behind me. This is Eternal Winter, um, another Narnia collection. Homemade spiked eggnog, a full festival of blend of cinnamon, orange zest, marshmallows, brown sugar, and nutmeg. And this is just like, also again, really powerful. It's like, it's super high throw, but it's mellow at the same time. Like. I think it's the eggnog and the marshmallows and brown sugar kind of round it out and mellow out all those spices and it's just a really nice soft spicy smell that's like creamy and Locke really likes this one and I do too. I smell it right now. It's just really nice and sweet and smooth and with a light spice and I really enjoy this one. If you want a more um, subtle spicy winter smell I definitely recommend Eternal Winter from Bewitching Wax. Um, this one I also finished, this was from Kay, which Andrea gifted me. Again, I'm not sure when she got this one, but it's Mulled Wine, which is Blackberry Bordeaux, Orange Cranberry, Nutmeg, and Spice. And I finished this whole clamshell, which um, I think it was just, it was okay. It was good. I, I definitely liked um, that it was more mulled. Yeah, it was just like a really nice, clean, like the blackberry orange, just a nice spicy blackberry, dark berry kind of scent. And I did enjoy it. I can't remember it too well, but I think it performed pretty well. And obviously I finished it up. I think I did like it. It's sort of like that winter berry smell, basically. <laughs> All right, now I have some things which I only have used up a couple of them. Um, so we'll go over those. So I've got a bunch of Zape here, which I've got a couple of Christmas ones. And also, um, this was from Andrea. She gifted it to me. So this is from the 5th. So is that January, February, March, April, May? I knew it was May. It's from May. It's Cappuccino Pizzelle, Vanilla Waffle Cookies, Toasted Marshmallows and Espresso. Yeah, it's just a really soft, um, sweet, slightly espresso um, smell, and it wasn't bad. Like it smells like um, like these coffee lollies, basically. And I just done two of these. Um, it was just sort of like a morning pick me up, 
but I think I will actually put that into the January lineup to finish this off because it is older and um, you know it's ripe for the melting but did really enjoy this one just like a soft um, a softer sweeter espresso and then I used one of Bewitching Wax's um, Under the Yule Tree which is pink tinsel berries winter pine and iced vanilla beans so there's Douglas fir and winter pine as well as some berries and I melted this on Christmas Day so um, oh, it's so good it's super strong like uh, I melted Christmas Day and then or oh, was it Christmas Eve one of, I think it was Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day came out we'd, uh, we'd stopped melting at like around dinner time um, that the day before and you could still smell it like so strong and I loved it it's super, it was super Christmas tree, but I think the um, like pomegranate and berries and vanilla beans really added to it and I love that one. I just did that one melt because it's kind of like a special one. I'm, no, because I just opened up a different pine, like um, evergreen for winter. So I think I'm just going to keep this for next Christmas. And I think next December, I'm just going to use up the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it was so good. Really liked that. Definitely smelled like Christmas, I think. But I'm just gonna put that one away. Then I had these for this year's Zape Christmas release. We have San whoop. We have Santa's Diner, which is caramel praline lattes, buttermilk pancakes, and maple syrup. And I have two cubes left of this one. But I think I'm gonna save them as well. Um, for next year, but this was really really tasty. The only thing is I didn't quite love the I guess like the praline part of the latte because pralines are nutty, right? There was something nutty in it, which I didn't love, but the, I like the lattes and there was definitely like near the end of its life It was super buttermilk pancakey, which I really liked So I got through a little bit of that, but I think I'm gonna keep the rest for next year because it was super tasty so I did enjoy that one and then I used just one cube of Christmas pass and I think I melted this yesterday <laughs> this is spiced orange candied apple and clove it's nice like it's just a regular sort of winter time um, uh, apple-y scent it was nice I don't like I'm not obsessed with it so just why I've only done one so far and I'm kind of weary about the clove because um, I know clove essential oil isn't great. It's kind of toxic to cats. So um, that kind of worries me a little bit. So I've only melted one to try it out. And well, it was good, but I didn't love it. So I'm just going to let it sit because it is a newer one. That will go back in for next winter. We'll see how we go. And then I have some stuff in here that I didn't touch at all. Um... So first of all, I have two little freebies from Fantasy Wax. I have milk and cookies and pistachio pudding cake. I'm not sure about the pistachio pudding cake. Yeah, I don't know. It almost doesn't smell like nut. Like pist I don't know what pistachios smell like anymore, but it almost doesn't smell like a nut smell. But sometimes I'm just lazy. I want to put on one of these and it's good for a day. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm probably just gonna move them across um, just for like random days. Then I may want to melt them in January, but yeah, didn't get around to those ones. Then I have two Bewitching Wax. We have another Narnia, which is the Stone Table. The Perfect Caramel Apple and Pumpkin Apple Butter. I think it was after I did the Sandy Claws Pumpkin Gingerbread, I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling pumpkin right this season. And it smells really de delicious, actually, a lot sweeter. But I think I might put this away for um, either maybe later in winter or in autumn. But it's just one I didn't get around to, you know. It was a more of an autumn scent than it was Christmas. Then we also have um, from the Yule Collection, Set New Intentions, which is sparkling Prosecco, juicy apple, and a hint of pine. And I'm actually filming this the week of New Year's, so I haven't actually, um, I haven't actually gotten to my New Year's stuff, and this is more of a New Year's scent to me, I think. 
to set new intentions. So I'm gonna move that across to January and I might try and melt that this week. But otherwise, um, it's a new one, so we could always just cure for next year. And then we have L3 Waxy Wonders New Year, New Me. Again, another New Year scent. Elderberry Pomegranate Champagne. I'm gonna smell this one for a while. Let's have a smell. That one is pretty nice and also fizzy. So I might actually try and cut one up, one of these bunts up and see if I can melt one of these. Some of it um, this week. Um, so I, that is gonna transfer to my January one. But otherwise, yeah, that was my empties. And so I'm just gonna go collect up all my January wax and I'll be right back to show you the new basket. All right. Alrighty, here is the January wax that we're going to get through. We're going to do some sort of Christmassy stuff, but also some wintry things and just have some fun. So we have, um, just have one, we have two fantasy, three fantasy waxes. So this one I actually got from Andrea, which is from July. <laughs> and this is Yule Ball Iced Lemon Cookies. You can see that. I thought this would be a nice lemon one to bring in and it's kind of got that name to, and the look looks a bit more wintry. So um, I've decided, I thought I'd bring this in for like a lemon flavor and it is like a nice sweet lemon. I like the cookie element to it. So I will put that one in, I'll cut it in half. So we'll put that one in for later. And then I decided, um, I already cut this one in half, and this originally was in my December box, but um, I decided there was like too many other Christmas stuff I wanted to get to, so I put it back away, but I'm going to bring it out. This is Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Royale. I don't know, Andre's like, melt it, it's so good. <laughs> so, I will melt this one for January, it's like... You know, just ultimate bakery, super sweet and smooth. So I definitely enjoyed that. Because I've been wanting a bit more. I didn't have so much bakery. I feel like I haven't had much bakery recently. I've been wanting it, so. And then finally, I have um, holiday treats. This is apple strudel, zucchini bread, and glazed donuts. And I might just cut up one of these and try and use some of it. I'm not loving it on cold, to be honest. I'm getting like the strudel kind of spices, but not really the apple or the others. Um, but I feel like, um, but then Andrea said she was melting this and said it was amazing. So I'm gonna cut one up, give it a try, um, and then otherwise leave this other piece and bits and pieces for next season. But she said it smells really good right now. So I want to try it. And I love the idea of apple strudel. So that's going in. Oh, and this is another one. Um, Fantasy Wax Melts again. This is Totally Tinsel Tomorrowland. And like, look at this. It has to be done in winter. It's Cocoa Butter Cashmere and Spiced Winter Tea. Um... So I think this is more body care, more like clean scent, but I want to see how the spiced winter tea might come out more and warm. So I'm interested to see how this one comes out. It otherwise feels very clean and like fluffy laundry more scent. So we'll see how this one turns out, but I had to give this a go in winter. Um, and then from Bewitching Wax, I kind of broke this plastic here, so it's not quite closing properly. So I was like, well, I want to melt this this week, this winter then. <laughs> this is from the Yule Collection Evergreen Wreath, which is tart, citrusy, grapefruit, and seasonal evergreen. So I think it still very much goes with the winter vibes. It's like very, very clean and sharp. So I might like spread this out over the month, just when I want that sort of clean scent the clean piney grapefruity scent. It is a bit cleaner self smell for us. So like as in cleaning products. So I'm, I'm just gonna spread that one out just to freshen up the place, but it's also really beautiful. But yeah, because I broke it and it's not closing properly, I wanna get this melted. Um, and then 
For a different kind of one from Bewitching Wax, we have the Sailor Moon collection, The Guardians, which is warm tea and cakes, um, which apparently has almond in it, I think. A hint of espresso and a sweet bourbon cream. And you have cute little cat confetti. So adorable. Mm, it just smells like really creamy, bourbony. Yeah, I, I think that'll be really fun and interesting, especially mixed in with those other like very cookie and bready um, uh, bakeries. This is one that's got a little touch of something else in it. So excited for that one. And then we have two L3s. We have a str just a little freebie here because I thought that's easy to throw in with my other little freebies. We have strawberry pound cake, vanilla cookies, vanilla butter fudge, and vanilla bean Noel. And I'm just curious to see how this goes together on warm. Oh, wax just went up my nose. Yeah, because at the moment it smells very vanilla y, but I want to see how that strawberry pound cake might come out. But that's just like a little, a little day like fun. <laughs> And then this is one of the blueberry ones that I got in my like first lot of wax holes and I wasn't super impressed with it. Blueberry Cobbler and Sugar Cookie Royale, but I've since smelled both of those separately and I've let this sit for a little bit. Like it's been sitting in my thing since November. So and taking it out and having a whiff now, I now actually really like the way it's smelling. I think more of the blueberry is coming forward and that sugar cookie roll now now that I know what it smells like individually yeah so I'm probably gonna cut hmm. let me know how uh, how many pieces you cut this flute into I feel like if it's making me feel similar to a shop cup so I think I just cut it in two and melt a half so I might just cut one up and see how we go, but yeah, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, it's starting to smell really good to me, so now that I've smelled more smells and both of these individually, I'm way more into that one, so thought that'd be nice. And blueberry, it's blue and makes me think of winter. And then of course we have our holdovers, we have New Year, New Me, and we have Set New Intentions. We have a nice, um, the cappuccino pizzelle. And then we have the potassio pudding cake and milk and cookies samples. But that is my January basket. Uh, keep in mind, I only have one melter. <laughs> um, I think this should definitely get me through the whole month. Um, especially as like these, these snap bars, they're like one day each. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Like that's five whole days already. Like I probably won't finish this one either. Um, and these are like, this is four days. Uh, but I don't plan to like use up all of these. So like the blueberry cobbler, new year, new me, um, this holiday treats. There's, there's definitely stuff I want to get leave for next year. So yeah, I think this would be a good bag. And I'm looking forward to a bit more bakery and fun stuff, a bit more different scents to try out. But that is everything for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I've got planning stuff, some wax stuff. I've got wax holes all January for, through Tuesdays as an extra video. So if you're interested in those, they have those. Um, and a couple of book things will come as well. But yeah, that's everything for me today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye.